Hello, my name is Dr. Douglas McIntyre. I'm a certified Christian counselor and ordained pastor. The videos in the next series that you're going to see are presented at Al Huda Islamic University in Houston, Texas. The reason we made this presentation is to give the principles in helping people deal with uh, anger management, trauma resolution, pornography addiction, and same-sex attraction. If you have any question about the information presented, please feel free to contact us at our website, which is acceptancefellowship.com. That's acceptancefellowship.com. I thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy these videos. The story of Omar, Three Hidden Worlds. Everybody lives in one of three worlds. You live in a child's world. You live in an adult world. Or you live in the real world. The child's world is a world where all you want is what you want. When you want. Right? You all have kids. Can I have? What's the answer to can I have? No. No. What's the result? I want it anyway. And they stamp their feet. They're children, right? If I can't have what I want when I want it, I'm going to make a fuss. I'm going to get what I want when I want it. Adult world. You provide the good things, right? And men, you've been known to provide the discipline. Once in a while, mama gets a swat in too, right? You know what I mean by that. My mother had a saying. We also had a, a nice little, it was about this long with a handle on one end, flat. She called it the Board of Education. <laughs> and she used to apply the Board of Education to the seat of knowledge. <laughs> Liberally. <laughs> and every time she did, I didn't sit down for a day or two. Well, maybe not that long. She was a Hey, mother was my world. Mm -hmm. okay. She had to be, because dad wasn't. And the real world, the facts that you don't want to know. I've told you a few things about myself today you could have lived without knowing, right? But because you know them, it means that they're now in your thinking. And you realize that when someone comes and says, send your child to my house, it's going to be safe, what do you do? You don't take everybody at their word, do you? But you're not there 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. You have told me that most of the knowledge of marital things and growing up things comes from friends. Which is the exact last place a kid should get any knowledge. But now you're sending your kids to school. Right? Now, if your schools are like mine, and I was a teacher in a Christian school, just like you have your school here. I was principal and 7th and 8th grade teacher for almost 10 years. I could not keep the kids from sucking amongst themselves. Every now and then a parent would call me up and say, my son came home using a word that why don't you stop it? How do you stop it? How do you keep your kids from gaining education that you don't want them to have? The real world. The facts you don't want them to know? Did you hear about the guy, that, the, the father that went to his son? His son is now 12. And I don't know how you do it in your mosque, but in the Christian church it's son... I need to talk to you about the facts of life. What am I really saying? I'm using a three-letter word. <laughs> he knows what I'm talking about, right? Mm -hmm. 
And the son looks up and says, yeah, Dad, what do you want to know? Hmm. Like he's got more knowledge than you do? The trouble is, in the public schools, they do. Because they're taught from the fourth and fifth grade that gay is good. I asked the boy the other day, what do you think about the gay marriage issue? And he said, oh, I think I should be able allowed to do it. Love is love. And I said, you shake your head because you're from a different generation. You were not trained from the fourth grade up that this is perfectly okay. The first book that I heard about in the public school was a book entitled, Heather Has Two Mommies. That was back in the 80s. Now it has progressed since then. How many would like to guess a number? Give me a number between, no, just give me a number. How many television programs, series, have prominently acceptable gay characters on television today? I would say all of them. How do you combat that when they come to mosque once a week and here anybody that does this is going to hell? When 139 sources are telling them this is perfectly okay and by the way those old people over there they're from a different generation. Their book is not, is not up to date. I listened to a video the other day of a man that said, you know, we have a new theology because the old theology, Paul didn't know about these things. These are things that no, nobody knew about these things. We've changed now. We've updated. We're more normal. We're, you know, when it says I'm the Lord your God and I change not, what does that mean about a new theology? It's not theology. It's garbage. Yeah. Whoops. Hopefully somebody will hear that word. This new thing that they say is there is a lie. The Bible says you shall know the truth and the truth will make you free. I'll bet there's the same text in the Quran. Mm -hmm. If you know the truth, the truth will set you free. Mm -hmm. The truth is you're not born that way. It's a developed tendency because of circumstances that you live through. Why do you think I came out with a perfect female score? I had been used as a perfect female for 10 years. Why wouldn't I? But you were born that way. No, I wasn't born that way. And God says, He's going to redo. He's going to recreate. He's going to make you new. He's going to change you. He's going to lead you down the path of correctness, right? And everything will work out. But these other people are out there saying, oh, you've got to accept us. And the biggest argument that they have for accepting them is, you're taking away our ability to be loved. Hello? <laughs> I'm never going to have a family if you don't allow me to be loved the way I want to. Wait a minute. Man, man, family. Can that happen? In America. <laughs> huh? In America. In America? Mm -hmm. <coughs> oh, I see. No. Can you create one if you... Uh, no. Woman, woman creates what? Nothing. Confusion for their husband. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. It doesn't happen. But they say, oh, we want a family. Fine, join the rest of the family. Can you have a family? But we don't think like you do. No, you've been taught not to. You might want to blame the teachers that taught you this garbage. Now, my story is kind of funny. I once went to a gay church to get straight. I wrote a book about it. It's called, Hey God, You're Doing It Backwards. Literally, left my wife, left my children. Abandoned them completely. Flew to California because I read a book that said, The Lord is my shepherd and he knows I'm gay. Woo! That was 1975. It was written by the first pastor of the first all-gay church in the United States. No, you sound like you're shocked about that. 
I now refuse a choice for mm -hmm. the people. Did you know it's right here in Houston? No. Oh, yes. Huh. You can look it up on the phone book. You can look up on the... There's only 300 different churches not like that right now. Yeah. And now the mainline churches and some of the mainline mosques are beginning to say, we accept you as you are. The Episcopal Church that used to be the strong church of the world, right? Has openly homosexual priests that are women. Whoa. That goes against everything that church ever taught. And they just say, accept it. The Methodist Church. Good old Methodism, right? You don't know this history. Because you've never been taught this history. That's one of the oldest Protestant churches that fights against the Catholic Church. Openly gay accepting now. Openly affirming. You go get a counselor. And that counselor will tell you, I'm not going to try to change you. You become what you want to come. I will affirm you in whatever direction you want to go. I'm, it's not my job to make you go in a direction. It's your job to choose it. And where do they affirm them to? The highest AIDS rate in the world is amongst teenage boys from 14 to 24 years old. And it's the same thing for the girls. <coughs> the teenagers are getting the diseases. And it's because the people of God, be you call him Allah or God or whatever you want, those people aren't standing up and saying, listen, enough is enough is enough. Now, when somebody sees this, again, I'm going to get flooded. I'm going to get harassed. The newest yes, tactic. That was my concern that you might be uh, getting calls and telephone calls and letters of harassment. Oh, and, uh, the death, last time they had threats it, and things like that. Yeah. Back when Proposition 8, this is a California law stating that gay marriage was acceptable or something like that. I, I don't even know. All I know is my organization got 5,000 phone calls charged to our cell phone bills by people who knew how to manipulate the system and took our numbers and spun them on long distance phone calls and ran up five thousand dollars worth of bills. Wow. Then they crashed our website. I know harassment. We have the child's world. All I want is approval. Boys need to be physically held and touched by their father, the arm around the shoulder. You're my son. You're going to be a good Dad needs to drive that into the mind of the child. You are my son, and you are going to be a fine person, and you're going to make the family proud. Not, what do you mean you're one of those? You know, as soon as you're one of those, you start living like one of those. And it causes a problem, because those are getting sick more often than anybody else. Why would anybody want to go in a position that has the highest suicide rate, the highest depression rate, the most STDs of any organizational group in the world? Why would you want to go there? And then call it gay. Gay used to have a different meaning, didn't it? Happy. Yeah. They say, but we have no choice. I'm going to show them in a few minutes how they do. Next.